they, they didn't have a problem with me choosing such an unorthodox career and uh, they, they supported me throughout the beginning years that they were tough, you know, they, you don't make much money, you, you need support and help financially. Um, first, a erotic memory. Yeah, I was a teenager and uh, I was singing in the chorus of La Traviata and uh, I enjoyed it. It was really cool. It was just the best thing you know, to get in costume and, and be back in the, you know, 1800s and it, it was really, really great to, to, I don't know, it was, it was a great new experience that opened my eyes to, to this wonderful art form. Well, of course, my family, my parents, my wife, um, my teachers. Uh, I have to thank, you know, Placio uh, Domingo for having helped me so much and, and, you know, supported me in the beginning of my career. And Ramon Vargas was my teacher and he believes in me and he gives me his time. Um, I was, I had finished a concert singing a baritone, uh, I was a baritone, I was singing a concert with Placido Domingo in Mexico City, and I remember after the concert he said, would you mind sitting with me, <laughs> he said, would I mind, <laughs> and we, we started talking, and then he, he after a, a few minutes he said, well, you know something, your voice reminds me a little bit of what mine used to sound when I used to sing as a baritone, I think you should consider um, singing some of the tenor repertoire to see how the voice feels and where where he wants to go and um, well he encouraged me to do it and uh, a few years later I got to sing for him as a tenor and he was very happy about having been right. This music is a perfect score in my opinion. They can expect to to leave the theater with with their soul soaring and their this feeling wonderful, wonderful things.